Maze has some secrets that she doesn't want anyone to know about. Do you know what her grandfather's nickname was for her? How about what she did for a living before she decided to follow a career as a professional actress? If you have no clue, keep on watching because we'll reveal that and about a dozen more facts after you'll never watch Leslie Ann Brandt the same way after this. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 15. Her mom is her role model. My mother, she is always someone who taught me to present myself properly and put my best foot forward. This is how Leslie described the lessons her mom taught her. In addition to life lessons, her mother taught her how to take good care of her skin and she was using eye cream as early as junior high. She and her mother have had their differences, but the actress is grateful her mom was patient while Leslie was going through her tomboy phase. Currently, the two are constantly on the phone with each other, even though they're in different continents. The actress did admit to being a bit stressed because she's not close to her friends and family, but the frequent calls help her deal with it. Number 14. She was a freelance makeup artist. Before hitting it big on Lucifer, Leslie had to find a way to pay the bills. As we discussed already, her mother taught her the importance of taking care of your skin, so she had a knack for makeup. Leslie became a freelance makeup artist, among other things. What other things, you ask? Well, for starters, she also worked in retail sales in Auckland. Then she moved into the information technology sector where she worked as a recruitment consultant. And finally, before her ticket to stardom, she appeared in several advertisements in New Zealand. Just continue watching to find out what kind of racial problems Leslie has had to overcome. It's our number 10. Number 13. Her birthplace is Cape Town. Not many people know this, but Leslie Ann Brandt was actually born in Cape Town, South Africa. Many raise their eyebrows when they find out where she comes from, but it's actually true. She lived there for a while and then moved to smashing that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in reality, she moved to New Zealand. An interesting bonus fact that we can share with you is that she's fluent in Africans a language spoken in several African countries. If you want to see what that looks like, go to her Instagram account and you will find it in one of her captions. Number 12. She is part of the charitable organization Earth Child Project. Leslie loves to give back to the community. That's why she's part of several different charitable organizations, one of which is Earth Child Project. According to their website, they're a nonprofit organization that's offering complimentary education to under-resourced schools. There are eight schools in KTEL. Number 11. She was a model in the beginning. We weren't completely honest with you. After quitting her job as an information technology recruitment consultant, Leslie didn't immediately jump into acting. She dabbled in the modeling industry for a while. She certainly had the looks for it, but something just didn't seem to click. So that's why we now know her as Maze on Lucifer. Number 10. She has had to defend her race. Because Leslie is a person of color, many racist fans of the show have called her out for playing a black character, while she herself is mixed. The only thing she had to say to this is the following. I'm South African. I'm a woman of color who is mostly thought to be a light-skinned black American, and that assumption is made by Americans I meet. She is actually a mix of heritages, including West Indian, Dutch, German, and Spanish. To simplify things, she calls herself Cape Colored. Number 9. She would like to be a singer if acting goes sour. You'll see me singing along to balance at the stoplights in my car. Well, that's a new one. We know that she's been singing Wonderwall on Lucifer, but we thought that was just part of her job. Oh, nay, nay. She's actually in love with music. In the shower, in the car, singing along to music she hears around the house. Everything goes. She even said that if her acting career went sour, she would love to be a singer. And when asked about joining Glee, Leslie said that it would be an honor. But right now, Seeing how every actor is trying to be a part of Glee, she'll stick to Lucifer. Did you know she's not a method actor? To find out what technique she uses in her acting, keep on watching. 
Number 8. She, Rachel Harris, and Tom had the same personal trainer. The guy's name is Paolo Massidi. He has been the guy responsible for Lucifer's devilishly good-looking body, and Leslie can also be seen training with him on many of her Instagram posts. Recently, Rachel Harris has joined the team and they sometimes work out together. Number 7. She met the love of her life on set If you follow her on Instagram, you will realize just how much she loves her husband, and you won't believe how they met. Since they're both actors, Leslie was laying on the floor nursing a beer. The day was hot, so she thought what better way to cool off than with a beer. At that very moment, in walks Chris and probably thought Leslie was crazy for drinking alone before a rehearsal. One thing led to another, they got to talking, and before you knew it, the two kissed on their next rehearsal. In 2015, the couple got married. Number 6. She has been trained in the Meisner Technique Instead of method acting, Leslie actually practices the Meisner Technique. She doesn't like to rely on memory and rehearsal, which is why she uses emotional preparation, repetition, and improvisation to get ready for a day of shooting. Basically, she likes to go with the flow. Number 5. She loves yoga Staying fit and active doesn't only include hitting the gym. She also loves yoga, and she even bought her son a book on yoga for children. She said, My son and I read it together. I show him different yoga poses, and I've started teaching him to sit and breathe on a mat. It's the cutest thing. If you stick until the very end, we will tell you what's Leslie's favorite role she has played so far. Number 4. Apple G means something to her. That's the nickname her grandpa gave her. She was his little apple. And Leslie even said that one of the biggest influences in her life was in fact her grandpa. He has been responsible for her goofy side because she always laughed and cracked jokes around him. He was so jolly that he was laughing with the nurses that were taking care of him on his deathbed after being diagnosed with cancer. Number 3. Shortland Street was her first role. Remember 2007? Well, Leslie sure does. That's because in 2007, she got a role on a popular New Zealand soap opera called Shortland Street. Even though this was a small role, it led to her playing one of the main characters in Diplomatic Immunity just two years later. Number 2. She works with Every Mother Counts As we already said, she loves charities. She loves giving back. And this project is actually one they started with her trainer, Payalo. This is a challenge in which Leslie chooses a fitness goal to achieve and aims to raise awareness about the importance of protecting childbirth. Regardless of financial means, the more awareness you raise, the more you help out the organization. Number 1. She is a mom. And she loves it. After she and Chris had their first son back in July of 2017, the actress revealed to us that she is pregnant for a second time. She has only recently given birth, and her Instagram account is flooded with the cutest picture of her and her baby. Aww. On a related note, how do you think she manages to keep up with her career, family, charity organizations, and fitness at the same time? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.